Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to iPad 365, where today we're reviewing some utilities. Two great utilities that let you log into your PC and save all your passwords. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to iPad 365, the show where we review an app a day to keep your iPad at play. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Today we're gonna take a look at utilities and a couple great utilities that you can use on your iPad to organize your life. So let's get started. Last year when we were at the Consumer Electronics Show, I uploaded all my back channel video to my home computer. From there, I ended up streaming the video so we didn't have to use the bandwidth in Las Vegas to stream all the back channel video. And it kept a constant stream going so you could actually watch what was going on. I used a program like Log Me In. Actually, I did use Log Me In when I did that to get into my computer so I could organize the playlist so you could actually see what was streaming. It's the exact same thing I'm going to do this year, but the best part is now Log Me In is not only for iPad but it's got an absolutely free model. So I can actually log into my PC. I can move around the stuff that I need to move around, get that stream going, and get you a stream that's going. The best part about Log Me In is you can log into your home PC if you've got a home PC. And so you don't have to have your, your travel computer do all the work. You can just push them all, all the files over, or maybe you need to save some pictures and you want to save them on your home computer. You can use Log Me In to do that. If you want to pull some stuff from your computer over to your iPad, you can do that as well. That's the best part. And once again, it's now a free model. So you can actually download the Log Me In application so you can get your organization between your desktop and your, uh, and your, your iPad. All you need is a Wi-Fi connection and, of course, uh, connection at home. But if you've got that established connection, you'll be able to talk back and forth. It's a protocol that's called the VNC, and it's a great protocol. I've been using it for many years. And like I said, I used LogMeIn Pro last year. I'm going to be using it again this year. And it's a great application, a great utility to have on your iPad. So check it out. It's called LogMeIn. Now, in this day and age, when you have a lot of websites that are asking for usernames and passwords, chances are you have a lot of websites that have the exact same username and password. I try to mix things up a little bit. I have several different passwords, several different difficulties, so I'm not using the same password on every single site, but there are some websites that I do have the exact same password on. That's not good because if they can get into one website, they'll try some other websites to see if they can get in your information, like your Twitter account, like your Facebook profile, like your, like your Google Plus profile like your bank accounts. And of course, we don't want to remember 1893C2N dollar sign, so on and so forth. That's why you have an iPad application in 1Password is the name of the program. And it is a paid application, it's $9.99, but if you go up right now during the holiday season, they have a discount at $5.99. You can get that for a discount, which is really cool. You can organize your passwords. You can organize your credit card passwords and data. You can organize your bank data. So you don't have all that stuff sitting in your wallet. You go into the application. Of course, you're going to have to remember that password. And then once you get into the application on your iPad, it will show you all the passwords and login information. It'll have one click options. So like, let's say uh, you need to get into Google Plus. You just click on a button and it will log you into Google Plus from there great application. A lot of people like it. There's uh, a lot of friends of mine that have that application on their iPads and iPhones for that ma matter. Once again, just don't forget that one password password or else you've got a whole realm of different problems. Yo. And that's the show. iPad 365 will officially start on January 1st. What application do you want to see the most? What utility do you want to know about the most? Let me know by Twittering me over at iPad365. Of course, you can also email me at iPad365show at gmail.com. We're going to do viewer submitted reviews on Friday. So if you want to submit an application to review, if you want to get in front of your webcam and talk about an application, 
go ahead, send it to me. Of course, email me at ipad365show at gmail.com. It's got to be something I can download so I can put into the show. Uh, of course, you can send me an email, and I'll read the letter online as well. And, of course, on Mondays we're doing business apps. On Tuesdays is games. On Wednesdays is utilities. On Thursdays is productivity. Fridays is viewer choice. Saturdays we've got wild card. And then Sundays is, of course, fun days. So you can uh, find out an application a day for the next 365 days. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Jeffrey Powers. We'll be back tomorrow with the productivity applications that you'll see on iPad 365. And of course, the launch of the show starts on January 1st. So we will see you back here tomorrow with another episode of iPad 365. And until then, you guys take care.